In a certain sense, it's hard to believe that we're in a situation where we are right now, where uh, we don't have enough space for the children that want to come to the school, and we've had to make decisions um, that we weren't necessarily expecting to make, you know, to have to bring modular classrooms in, um, was a decision that uh, kind of came out of nowhere uh, with Tanya and Jamie uh, talking to me about this decision of, you know, which kids are we not going to allow to come to school here next year at Bishop Ryan. I remember the day that I went into Tanya's office and I had all of these kindergarten registration packets that had been filled out and turned in by families. And I looked at her and I said, Tanya, we're not going to be able to say yes to all of them. And we had a moment of panic <laughs> and we decided that we had to go talk to father but we didn't know where that was going to go in the long run. And the more we looked at it and the more we visited and prayed about it and had all kinds of conversations and tried to create the best of rubrics, um, really what it came down to was um, no student should be turned away. I remember bringing father in and at first he said, well, we've got to figure it out. And when the figuring it out came to be, it was that we were going to go forward. We were going to welcome all the families we could. Witnessing the growth of something, something good, is always a beautiful thing. That then, of course, we're faced with challenges here with the size of the building and uh, options for, well, what do we do to help uh, accommodate more desire for parents to put their children in, in this school? It's like, well, what do we do? How do we accommodate when we're when we're full to capacity, when we don't have the room to accept more children. Well, we want to make more room. And uh, we've, we've really, really come to decide as a, as a board is like, we don't want to turn anybody away. That's, we just don't want to do that. We don't want to turn anybody away. So being part of Finance Council, you get to see things before the actual board gets to see things. And Father has these ideas, and one of them was modules. And he, he said, kept saying, we have to have these modular uh, rooms. So we got to, I got to see it probably first, and then we started the idea of it in the Finance Council. Can this work? Can this work? Can this work? And there was a series of blessings that happened right around the same time. And part of those blessings were, was the unbelievable growth in our elementary. And so um, at the right time, we, we made painful decisions to bring these things in with some, some debt. But in business, there sometimes is good debt. And this is good debt we needed to grow the school, to add one more component to get us to the next step. And so they made the big decision to make a financial, um, really it was a, a financial kind of hardship to our school in the sense that we needed to have more classrooms brought in. Um, so we brought in four modular classrooms, which I'm sitting in right now, um, and has been such a gift to our school that we've been able to continue to accept new students here at Bishop Ryan. I think what the expansion of these classrooms means to me is that it's a sign that the work that we've put in here uh, is in fact bearing fruit, that uh, what we do is valued, and that the future of the Catholic Church in Minot, of, of faith in Jesus Christ as the one who is the answer to the problems of life and is the hope of our future, uh, that Jesus is in fact uh, alive and well and uh, that his power still affects change in the hearts of people in a meaningful way so that uh, they're, they're desirous of everything that he has to offer them and that's really what Catholic education is about is about providing the space uh, in the lives of our families and in our community where Catholic culture can, can grow and can flourish where people can encounter Jesus and where ultimately our whole community benefits because people's hearts are changed, converted, and uh, Jesus' love is, is present in the hearts of all of his faithful. So that is worth fighting for, that's worth uh, taking a risk, that's worth uh, requiring a little courage, and uh, it's just a privilege to be part of that. The importance of having a Catholic school and growing in the Catholic faith. You know, as a, as a pastor, again, have nothing more than the desire for people to come to know Christ, and I think that being in this school system, that they, 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 they learn in such a way and are informed in such a way that they come to encounter him really, truly, and presently. And 
What a beautiful thing that that is to witness. I think it's really important. I mean, when you look at what we do here and how we change people's lives, I've, been, I've witnessed myself numerous deep conversions, not only with individuals, like students that go to school here, but their entire families. And I can say I'm part of that. Um, when we, my wife and I decided to come to Bishop Ryan, um, you know, I was Catholic, but not really Catholic, and I'm fully Catholic today. But my brother Jay and his family came here and they became Catholic, and they weren't Catholic beforehand. And uh, my mom came back to the church. Um, it's just been, it's been a miracle every time. And I see it across the school. So. We want to definitely give the ability to every person that wants to come to this school. It's so important that Bishop Ryan Catholic School keeps growing and keeps saying yes to more students. Uh, there is no greater thing for our community and for, our, for the church and for all of us here. The first time I was a Bishop Ryan Lion as a high school student, um, I love this place. I still bleed purple to this day. But I didn't realize how truly important Catholic education and the school is until my own children were here. And all the children now that I get to count as my adopted kids. And I think that when you get the chance to see what they're learning and see the way that they're learning it, and you get to walk in the same hallways with people who are dedicated to that mission, and you watch them go through thick and thin to make those kids have the best education possible, I think you start to understand how important it is, but not only that, I think you really get touched by the faith of what's going on underneath. But it's really in knowing that watching my kids grow in their faith has helped me grow in my own faith. And you kind of start to feel like you're doing something right. I think one personally asks the question, what is the hope for Bishop Ryan and looking towards the future? Personally, my hope for Bishop Ryan is that it grows exponentially and that every single soul in this city and surrounding area would want their child to be educated in the Catholic faith. And of course, I see this school as a, a necessary institution to help pass on the Catholic faith and build Catholic culture in this area for forever. Someone had brought up the point of think about back in the 1950s and 60s that there was a group of people very much like what we have today thinking about how they could make Catholic education a reality in Minot and that must have been so difficult at that time um, and scary um, and that's what we're experiencing but because because of the decision that that group of people made all those years ago, we've had Catholic education for all of these decades here in Minot. And so now I think we are very much faced with looking at how are we going to make Catholic education a reality for everyone for the next 50 years. It's really, when I got started here at Bishop Ryan, uh, you know, we had a plan, we had a vision, and growth was always part of it, but um, now that we're actually to a point where it's forcing us to make decisions that extend us beyond, um, well, the footprint of our original building, um, our comfort zone a little bit. It, I think it's important for people to understand that it takes courage to grow. The easy thing is to, to never take a risk. The easy thing is to never trust that God's providence is going to lead you to things greater than you can see. Um, the difficult thing is to step into the breach and to say uh, we believe so much in what we're doing here and we believe that the value is speaks for itself so uh, we believe that God is going to continue what he's already started uh, and we're going to to move to expand and to grow uh, and so obviously you know these modular classrooms are are just a sign of things to come uh, they're just a temporary fix for um, a, you know a need that we have that ultimately needs a permanent solution. Uh, but they were, I think, a, a very important part of um, the leadership of this school coming to a place where we said, no, we have a future and that future is bright.